very early in the morning on the first day of the week they went to the tomb just as the sun was rising the sun was rising and the son of god had risen it was the morning of an everlasting day a new heaven and a new earth no more death no more sorrows no more tears everything was made anew the journey from darkness to light from slavery to freedom that's what all the readings today were telling us about the journey from darkness to light from slavery to freedom from death to life to make the point very clear may I use again the story of nicodemus as it is yesterday nicodemus has a lot to teach us about this journey from darkness to light he may remember he came to jesus in the night he came to jesus in the night in the gospel of john wherever you find the word night it means only one thing spiritual blindness at the last supper we find judas left to jesus and then john says it was night from the light of jesus judas entered into darkness without jesus and here is nicodemus coming to jesus in the night looking for some light what was wrong with the nicodemus apparently nothing he was a learned pharisee a scholar a pundit and be being a pharisee a very religious person following the 613 commandments of the lord a really a holy person in our language a church going catholic a practicing catholic going to mass every day doing all the devotions a good good catholic nicodemus and the lord tells him nicodemus you are not going anywhere you have to start again from the scratch you are not going anywhere born again be born again become a child again i learn everything again so all my all these years of learning and study in books and theology all all the devotions i do all the practices i do traditions i follow all the commandments of moses i follow everything and you mean to say they are all nothing yes then the door told in nicodemus don't you know moses you respect him don't you what did he do in the desert he lifted up a serpent on a pole and everyone 
that looked on that pole on the serpent, they were saved. And one day, I will be lifted up. Just as Moses lifted up with the serpent on a pole in the desert. And as I told you yesterday, and on Calvary, Nicodemus was there to see that lifting up. Nicodemus will never forget what the Lord told him two years ago. That night, one day, I will be lifted. And there he is lifted up. Nicodemus looked at Jesus on the cross and his heart was changed. Just as the people of Israel came to repentance, looking at the serpent on the pole, Nicodemus was really transformed, looking at the love of God. This innocent man, the son of God, fulfilling all the prophecies, Nicodemus was completely transformed. Do you remember what did Nicodemus hear on Calvary? 99% of the Christians may not know the meaning of those words. On the cross, the Lord said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? What is the meaning? Jesus was quoting Psalm 22. And those words will go deep into the Nicodemus as a follower of Moses. Those are in the Psalm 22, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Fulfilling the prophecy. Fulfilling the prophecy. The Son of God, the suffering servant, recited Psalm 22, fulfilling the prophecy about the suffering servant. Jesus, the suffering servant, for all the world to see, and Nicodemus could see the prophecy about the Son of God, the suffering servant, is fulfilled when I hear the words, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The words of the suffering servant. This is the Messiah. This is the Messiah. And old man Nicodemus will stay there to take the body of Jesus to the tomb. I told you yesterday, no man those days would do that job only for women to do it. Because it was a kind of a, a job for the women who were thought to be second class citizens. No man would do, it, would do that. Here is Nicodemus, the old man, the Pharisee, the saint, doing the unthinkable. Must have shocked all the people standing there a man doing a woman's job below his dignity. But Nicodemus, Nicodemus was already a changed man. He had seen the light. No fear. He had no concern about his own name or fame. Completely changed me. No fear. I will do this job. From darkness into light. My dear friends, here is a lesson for you and me. How to come from darkness into light. Let's explain a bit more. Most being a good person was just doing, following the traditions, the motions of the, 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 the what you are expected, the, 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 the traditions and the daily practices. In simple terms, and all, all the commandments, all done, he was doing the right thing. What was wrong with him? This can happen to you and me. We try to earn heaven by our own hard work. Things, going to mass, doing the everything to be, to do the, taking the, all these requirements. What it means is we are our own Savior and Lords. 
we even because i have doing all this right like in nicodemus i'm doing everything right so heaven is my claim and here is the lord telling nicodemus heaven is a gift only look at him on the cross heaven is a gift to you a gift to you everything is a gift to you you don't earn heaven you don't claim heaven you will say lord have mercy on me a sinner this is the way to walk from i have been given the gift of heaven and i can never thank you him enough and you will always walk humbly with him dear friends are we walking in the light of the risen christ is the light of the risen lord is it sh- is it shining all the way in our life it has to make all the difference in our life we live in a world that is materialistic that's why there's so much anxiety the world is looking for a story to live by you think this is the all the life there is nothing beyond the grave you are not going to get anywhere we are spiritual beings in a body this is all the life there is holding on to our possessions and then then we are not going to get anywhere we need a, a story to live by and this world the kind of society we live in hasn't got a story to live by hence anxiety the life of jesus is a story to live by always a story that makes sense of everything of the past everything of the present and everything of the future the story of jesus will make sense of all our stories with all his tragedies and catastrophes hold on to the story of jesus that story tells us our human story will end in glory forever know the blessing of the word <coughs> so and sisters let us humbly beseech the lord of a god to bless this water he has created which will be sprinkled upon us 